Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about security mechanics. In previous tutorial, uh, we have studied about security services. So, what happens? There are some security mechanisms to provide the security services. And uh, in this tutorial, I will give you only the brief introduction about these security mechanisms. About them in detail, we will study later in separate tutorials. So, here in this tutorial, I will give you only the brief introduction of these uh, security mechanisms. Right. So what happens? ITUTX.800 also recommends uh, some security mechanism to provide the security services. So first one is encipherment. So what happens? Encipherment, hiding or covering data can provide confidentiality. About it we will study in detail later in separate tutorials. Right. And uh, this uh, it can be used to complement other mechanisms to provide other services. Today, two techniques which are used for enciphering are cryptography and steganography. Uh, about cryptography in detail, we will study later. Right? Now, the next mechanism is data integrity. So, what happens? Uh, this uh, data integrity mechanism, it appends to the data a short check value. The check value is created from the data itself by a specific process. And when the receiver receives the data and the check value, he creates a check value from the received data and compares the newly created check value with the one which he has received. If the two check values are the same, then the integrity of the data has been preserved. Next is digital signature. By digital signature, the center can electronically sign the data. The receiver can electronically verify the signature, right? So by digital signature, the sender can electronically sign the data and the receiver can electronically verify the signature. So what happens? In this case, the sender uses a process that involves showing that uh, the sender owns a private key related to public key which the sender has announced publicly. The receiver uses the sender's public key to prove that the message is indeed signed by the sender who claims to have sent the message. Next is authentication exchange. In authentication exchange, two entities exchange some message to prove their identity to each other. Another mechanism is traffic padding. Traffic padding means inserting some bogus data into the data traffic to thwart the adversary's attempt to use the traffic analysis. <coughs> Another mechanism is access control. Access control uses methods to prove that user has access right to the data or resources owned by a system. Example of proofs are passwords and pins. Now the next mechanism is routing control. So what happens in this case? Routing control means selecting and continuously changing different available routes between the sender and the receiver to prevent the opponent from eavesdropping on a particular route. Right. Now the next mechanism is notarization. Notarization means selecting a third trusted party to control the communication between two entities. This can be done for example to prevent repudiation. The receiver can uh, involve a trusted party to store the sender request in order to prevent the sender from later denying that uh, she has made such a request. So in this tutorial we have studied about uh, various security mechanisms which uh, provide security services.